Hello, this is Pigsy. Just doing uh, another vid. Um, I touched upon the cabal earlier. I think um, I think in the long term there'll be some kind of solution there. Um, different change of games. I mean, they can still be players in their games, but I think they've done. They've taken it as far as they need to. Um, I think there's a time where we should need to be a bit more independent and start actually expanding our intelligence and um, mix with the cosmos. I mean, there it's, it's out there. There's no point um, us being stuck on Earth and, uh, and and sort of living in this box, this box reality. I think um, people will be relieved to know that there is more to life than simply um, the, the, the nine to five, uh, being sat on the telly, having children, and so on. It's all, it's all very great, but it's not everything. And um, you know, even to, um, even your education have been sort of set certain limits. I mean, I've seen people in education, educated professionals, but I'm not feeling that they all they're doing is regurgitating information that they've learned. They're not actually thinking, not telling me anything new. They're finding reasons to prove things don't exist, or that new things don't exist, or any sort of thing they can they can sort of. It, it, it's because it's so political, basically, and whether they consciously realise it, but they've got it ingrained that to, to, to see the world in a particular way, and anything that doesn't fit that paradigm needs to be uh, pushed out of the way, broken down, you know, basically um, discredited. And as a result, so much knowledge has been pushed to one side, and people have cashed in on that, that knowledge, they've taken that knowledge, and have used it for their own devices. But it's, it's been there for everyone in the first place. I heard a great comment today that basically um, science and religion need to get back, need to get married uh, <laughs> again, because that's what happened in the past. I, see, I've mentioned this before in another video, is that with knowledge, you break it down to its finite structures, and then you reassemble it back together again, and that, that gives you a greater understanding of the, of the mechanics behind the thinking. What we have is we break it down into these structures, and then we just in order as its control basis. And uh, it's any progress really. I mean I can't fully understand well I do I do understand what happened in the past is there was a, a power vacuum or something. It was filled in with with people that uh, knew more about our, our past and uh, they saw the controlling objects more than it's everything to be set up the systems of management of the system. You know, it's also um, doing it in ways that are more smart, like the show before they were up front, you know, like the wall from the, um, you know, the religious leaders and so on. But now it's now there's a system in place where basically that a lot of the the uh, warmongers and the industrial complex that has evolved from basically put back to Babylon for some of these guys. Um, a bit like the, the pharmaceutical industry and so on. They're relying on people maintaining disease and just managing it rather than trying to look for a solution. I mean, look, it, 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 there's so many people around. I mean, surely they don't need to do this. It just it seems, it seems ludicrous. Um, a bit like the old concept of giving people uh, injection of mercury and injecting finger level on their body in order to make them sick, weaken their genetic structure. They want dependence basically, it's like the addiction to this false reality we've created. Um, because they're afraid, I think, the elite would be afraid if things changed, things were set up in the past a particular way, we all had fun functions, we all had roles. And I think they're afraid if they change, what do they do? Where do they go? But they, they can still be key players in this game. You know what I mean? It's not gonna. They're not gonna disappear. I think they need to be more honest and open and embrace people. And that would create um, a more type of libertarian society, which I I would favour than a totalitarian. Um, and then there's a case of massacring people and doing stupid things that don't need to be done. To be honest. 
something we're the most, you know, what doesn't matter what type of technology you've got, the um, way you can clone humans, but um, possibly make something like a life form like us. But uh, to be honest, the technology involved in our creation is, is we're an advanced asset, to be honest, to the planet, to the universe. Um, you know, um, Mother Nature loves us. I can see why there's an issue um, with certain groups of people believing they're better in some way. I see a lot of these, um, these uh, sort of elite, elite um, faces, let's put them that way. But physically, I mean, I'm not seeing someone looks like um, they're genetically perfect. I mean, that's, that's, that's how I poke at the royal family. I mean, they have genetic faults in the family. There was haemophiliac um, uh, type of disease that was in the royal bloodlines. Um, so they have genetic faults within them, they're not perfect. If anyone turns around and says, oh yeah, they're half alien. No. Well, for a half alien, they've got certain amount of genetic problems. Um, they may they may sort of say, well, we're from Babylonian bloodlines. And, um, and then they may do their sort of um, their like vam- vampire side of things. Um, it'd be interesting to find out if, it's, if the war family have killed people. For any of their kind of rituals, they might have the power basically to their own religion. Um, there's lots of weird stuff about, um, well, basically abusing, abusing children and blood rituals and all these other things and um, sex rituals. And but uh, it's just uh, it just some. I think it's just a crazy person's fantasy, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there as well. I saw something about. Ascension and Palladians and stuff like that, and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, we'll watch this. Um, but they say it just talk about sex, <laughs> They're saying it, oh, it's like a spiritual awakening, and you can have different types of sexuality. And I'm just sort of thinking, is that really true? I'm, I'm wondering also. I mean, yeah, sure, it's okay if you want to experiment. You've got different ideas, different view of the world. I'm also wondering all things like the vaccines and things that be put into us to damage us. The impact that might have had, it may have created peoples to have these um, faults in some way. There could be faults, I mean, I don't know. But some people find it difficult um, accepting that they're male or female or the way they are. I mean, it's okay to have a, uh, affection, but there's a, usually there's a biological need for um, mating and so on. Um, I mean, there is the, um, the, the sort of uh, psychological bond to it and a spiritual connection to it as well. I mean, there is a but um, I think if there's an incompatibility there and there's, there's a conflict within that person, it could be the conflict has been generated by something that would have been damaged and they've had to repair themselves and it's had a neurological impact um, on their being. But I think with the, the coming age, um, these sort of things will be resolved within the human species. Um, even things like the water, possibly. Um, I think that's one of the saddest things, especially if it's created using um, mercury. I mean, why? Why would you want to damage people? I because, in essence, it's not profit. Or the, the, the world is full of debt. It's based on damn managing debt. So by damaging people, you're just creating something to feed debt. It's just a downwards constant spiral. Um, I was absolutely horrified that there was Jeb Bush saying about increasing military spending. What? So then billions of pounds thrown in the black budget, it can't be used somewhere else then. I mean, does he think we're all stupid and thick and don't understand what's been going on for the last flipping, um, well, the last century, to be honest, and beyond? But, and where this money goes? There's just, it's a pointless, and is it real money there? Is it gold? You've got another issue if you get... Um, Hillary Clinton into power. I've heard her mention about re-education camps. Re-education camps. What about self-education camps? We could just educate ourselves to do what we want. That's, that's probably a lot better than somebody sending us to some place that technically is a prison. And, um, and what might happen to people that go in there, get processed, like they're um, some sort of weird cattle or uh, product. I've already looked at the things with like birth certificates in te- and you kind of technically they at the start they, they take the print and they take your blood they, they do the child always get, like, um, I thought they were checking the blood group but it, they get um, a printed on a card 
heart to foot. I wonder if any of the royal family have had some of these things, or do they have polio injections at birth and all these other things that happen to everybody else? Do they undergo the same process? That would be interesting to see. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll just ask for a Freedom of Information Act on that, find out if that actually takes place. Um, but, yeah, basically on the card it says something about the property of the crown or whatever. So, so it's... Um, you have to research birth certificates, but a certificate is like you give to a product, and um, that's the state, you know, saying, "Well, we'll take possession of him um, as a part of the state." That, and then the kind of the debt, like working, um, there is a way by which they kind of give you back money, but in essence, you already have in the first place. Because your your net worth or your worth is, is is like a billion pounds a person or something crazy like that. So that's um, that's an interesting um, sort of you know information there as well. Um, I might look at um, the birth certificates, but if you take full control of yourself, you suddenly become something outside of the society. You set yourself up as your own company. It's very bizarre, basically. Um, you have uh, an identity created with capital letters, and, then, and but that capital letters isn't your actual name. It's like your product name, and your birth certificate has a code, and that code is, is you know, your barcode for who you are. It's, it's very bizarre. You just have to research your own um, birth certificate. There's ways you can check it online. You can put in your, the code, and it'll come up with user product. So... So yeah, society is very strange in this, with this regard, and there's a lot of, of laws from the past. Maritime law seems to influence um, influences everything. Um, so it, it's just an interesting theory. Basically, I mean, I'm all all for astrobiology because we don't fit we don't fit in in, in the way that. Darwin would like us to. Um, most of the creatures in Darwin's theory don't fit in either. Um, I think there's a place for it, but I don't think it's to explain everything because it's just an idea like, well, there is no God, it's chaotic, and the best survive while the weakest die. And, you know, it's a blah, blah, blah. But it's a, <laughs> what really was engineering is going on, and how do I know where to put my eyes? And, you know, I could have been about a, a billion different types of human type entities. I could have had one eye. I could have, I could have had three eyes. You know, there's there's uh, there's all these different potential outcomes. I could have been for a human being in in some sort of chaos theory. I would have still survived, but these humans don't exist. So anyway, back to um, the sea, maritime law, and the humans is that we have a unique feature: is that we sweat, we sweat, we sweat salt, um, we cry salty tears. Um, these are all qualities to do with marine life. So I'm wondering if the uh, maritime law, the water, the ocean, the sea law applies to us because of that connection. Um, I mean, what do I know about the past? Well, I've mentioned about a power vacuum. I think there's been a lot of ET politics on the planet. And then they got to a point where there was a standoff. They said, right, just leave it, you know, because <laughs> each group's putting their own oar in. And it's getting political, and they're not sticking to um, their kind of any set agreement. And we're getting a backlash from whatever's going on with these groups. I mean, there was a point where there, the, there was the um, Atlantean group in there. Um, it's likely with human life is that, yes, it's had um, some exobiology or bioengineering going on as well. To the species. But species has evolved on this. that's the information basically it's like the project like okay, these types of humans and um, what happens is that um, way a different type of wave dimensional frequency beings um, basically it's me without if I if I didn't have a body I'd have a spirit and that spirit would be in essence what I'd be like a combination of intelligence and consciousness um, I could do anything I can travel anywhere I could pretty much do it anyway. If you just think where you want to go, you can project yourself there and you still have a physical body. But these bodies act 
they are type of um, self matrix. So they're connected to the planet as well. There's a connection that my heart beats the rhythm that's connected to the Earth, um, and also the, the frequency of the sun affects me. And there's different cycles. I mean, for example, women are affected by the cycle of the moon. Uh, men are affected by the cycle, the solar cycles. Um, so, um, so it's interesting. You know, there's a bit of it like um, with the reproductive. Um, system of, of human beings for um well women that go into the monthly cycle while men could um, reproduce every so many days so basically they only need about 24 hours to build up but the seven days would be when they're, they're fully fertile so a seven day period um for a man who's, who's you know sexually active basically so um so yeah so going back to um the project the project was these different humans got rolled out um, and in the past there were stargates and we could travel to different different planets we were more spiritual and we had a different type of mindset about us but for the for the project different types of humans had slightly different mindsets um, when they say that some people come from Mars they probably did um, I think there's also like um, Israeli types um, and different they, they're a kind of the prototype of the they are may have not been um they may have not come from the same origin basically um i mean you know if you were to test this theory like where the neanderthals fall into it and and i've had my dna checked and they tell me that my some uh, sub-saharan is like um is 0.1 percent so there's 99.9 percent .9 of human in me that doesn't belong to any any african black african person basically um so it's it's um it's a bit crazy um so they're suggesting like you know basically so which what is the 0.1 percent is that uh, fingernails or is that um to do with um my eye color or does that does that relate to my nostrils or something else you know what does that what does that basically relate to that's that would be the um the mystery there so um yeah <laughs> the light in the chat away um so yeah basically where does all all these things fit in into the uh human consciousness and um so focusing back to it basically um a lot of different types of humans migrated to this planet there was wars that went on and um, basically we cut ourselves off we got caught up in these politics stargates got buried they got destroyed. I don't know if they can be fully destroyed, but they've all they've been um, basically under like a quarantine this planet for a while. Um, you got issues with um, the cabal want to they want to stretch their power out beyond the planet and um, want to shoot down UFOs or basically stop any type of alien direct contact between beings. That's the information I I got today. But um, yeah, basically, um, with the consciousness, there's um, groups saying, "Well, look, if the cabal are not going to tell us about aliens or make alien contact, we do it ourselves." And that's what you can do. You can simply—it's um, not even meditation. It, well, it kind of is. It falls into that the projection of consciousness um, and connecting to beings. That like—that's the best way of doing it. Um, what you'll see in your mind, you might think, oh, it's a bit of a fantasy. But then you'll pick up more details that relate to things that you, you didn't fully understand. And if you research on the internet, you think, blimey, I saw that. And how could I have seen that and not seen it before? It's a bit like, um, like for me, seeing different types of greys and, and, and their involvement. I mean, they don't fully communicate with me. They've got an interest in me. They seem to have like a scientific interest in me. But I get the images, so when they... When I sense them near me, I can see them in my mind. I um, and there's the different types, and I think, well, why am I looking at different types? And then I look them up, and I think, bloody hell, that that was that was what I saw in my mind. So um, all my all my research seems to be fitting into um, to my beliefs, and it seems to all, you know, why would I, why do other people have the same experiences exactly the same? You know, it's not a case of I've been watching lots of films and I've picked up on all these things. Um, I've been studying them a lot more now. But possibly because 
all the pieces are starting to fall into place so that makes a lot more sense but yeah basically you can directly link your consciousness like i could do that i could literally link my consciousness to a set, set star system place beings a craft anything you can sense out there and then you can make direct contact there's a way by you focusing on that craft you can bring that craft to you basically the vectors of that craft will pick up where your conscious mind is your signal for your mind um, they do say basically your mind um, there's it, it can project as far as the uh, into the stratosphere of the planet it goes beyond that your consciousness so like a radio signal or you think about um, how a mobile phone works so so small that can send a signal straight up to a satellite but your consciousness can go much beyond that and so therefore you could be picked up in space um, so your thoughts are projecting outwards like a radio signal and they say I saw something that said well why don't aliens use TV to send messages and probably because they'd be blocked and they don't really they don't really use TV to communicate to the people um, they would use their consciousness they don't they're not caught up in this media world we've created they have a different total different system you know I mean at one point they were using like Morse code and they changed that system but um, I think some people use um, like laser pens so maybe you know this is a this is a caution might only use these things on a UFO. Do not use them on anything human. Um, so don't start tugging uh, helicopters and, and and you know anything that relates to human activity, because what will happen is that basically you get a big big ban on things like that, and, and you you won't be able to ever use a light pen <laughs> ever again. Um, even just to point at a whiteboard. So um, be really careful with what you do. Your experiences keep fairly much, well, or just communicate out to like-minded people. A bit like my videos, if they're, they're, they're tuning. If they're not, then they can go somewhere else. There's plenty of other out there. Um, but I only tell the truth from my experience, and I don't care. I'm quite an honest person anyway. There's no point lying about it. I mean, even if somebody said, "Oh, it's all a fantasy," and so on, well, that's fine. We all live in different fantasies. Like I explained, this this world is a fantasy to a degree. Um, because it's a shaped illusion around light. So, um, yeah. I'm going to draw this video to a close because I feel like I can probably talk all night long and um, I've got other places to go. So uh, you take care and, um, and I'll be uh, in touch soon with uh, more videos. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>